So how do you act when a girl likes you? One of the most important things to understand as a man is what to do when things are working with a woman, when she is attracted to you, so that you don't screw it up. When you use a lot of the material that you're learning about dating and attraction from videos like this, you'll start to notice that so many more women are showing you interest. They're giving you their attention. Girls will start to do and say things that clearly indicate that they like you. Sometimes it'll be a touch, sometimes a, a smile, a compliment and sometimes they'll just come right out and tell you but these things will happen more and more as you get better and better with this kind of skill and it's very easy to mess things up and quickly lose that attraction that she's feeling if you don't know what to do so that's what we're going to cover in this video Hi, I'm Bobby Rio, and at some point we've all been in the situation where maybe we're at a party and we start talking to a girl and we hit it off and she stays near us, right? She keeps the conversation going. She's even ignoring her friends to continue talking to us. So how do we make sure that we don't screw it up? Because I can think of plenty of times from my own life where I was in this situation. I thought that I had it in the bag. I was, you know, counting my chickens and then poof, it was like the lights of attraction went off off in her eyes and I went from being the attractive guy that she was into to the friendly guy at the party that she had zero interest in. If you've ever been in a situation like that or you're just wondering how to act when you're confident she's into you, I want to share some advice that my clients have found very valuable and it comes down to three things, three points and these are the three things that we're going to cover in this video. First, you have to know how to recognize when a girl is actually into you. You have to know how to differentiate between a girl who's being friendly versus a girl who's being flirty and giving off legitimate signs of interest. Then you have to know the big mistakes to avoid when a girl is into you so that her interest doesn't quickly plummet. And finally, you have to know how to amplify that interest that she's feeling so that you can move things along to that next level, which is more intimate. So let's start off with how can you tell if a woman is doing something that says, I like you. Well, it's very important to understand that women are very much more subtle than we are most of the time, right? Uh, women do small things, a little touch, a sly little smile. Sometimes she'll make a comment like you're so cute or funny, but then it's often gone. And you're like, was I imagining that? When a man's hitting on a woman, like we're pretty obvious. She knows what's going on. We're pretty easy to read, but women are notoriously uh, known for sending mixed signals. Here's something interesting. A lot of times her interest signals are actually a test and we fail, meaning she makes a comment that reveals some interest in us and we respond in a way that causes her to go, wait a minute, maybe this guy isn't as attractive as I thought. Maybe he's putting on an act. So a big thing to understand with women is this, just because she's doing something that says, I like you, don't think it means I'd like you no matter what. Attraction isn't black or white. I always say that. It's more of a sliding scale or a thermostat that's continually increasing or decreasing based on her feelings in that moment. So what I tell guys is it's really important to have a way to test her interest level in the moment so that you at least have a barometer of where you are right now. Now, there are a variety of tests that you can use to gauge her interest. I even have some other videos that go deeper into that, but I wanna give you one right now, one of the easiest ones, and that's to see if she'll move with you. What do I mean by move with you? Well, if you're at a party talking to a woman, you can ask her if she wants to take a walk outside to get some fresh air with you. Or if the two of you are, you know, standing somewhere, you can say, hey, let's go see if we can find some seats to sit down somewhere. If she says yes and follows you, it's a sign that in that moment she's interested. It's the same thing if you're on a date with a woman and you're unsure what she's thinking or feeling. See if she'll change venues. Meaning if you're in a coffee shop with her, say, hey, there's a great gelato place down the street. Want to go grab one? Because normally if she's not into you, she'll say, oh, maybe next time or I got to get going. So if she does go, it's a sign that she's feeling some level of attraction and she wants to keep the date going. That said, even if she does move with you, you want to take this I like you cue and you want to think of it as I like you right now because if you start acting lame after that, it'll all be over in an instant. Unfortunately for most guys, they take I like you signals to mean you've won my approval, now you can do whatever you want. And what do they do? What do most guys do? They turn into a total nice guy and they wind up ruining it. So usually you're being fun, right? You're challenging or you're teasing or you're flirting or whatever. And then she does something that signals interest in you. And all of the sudden now you're acting different. 
and we all kind of in our mind, we, we, we start talking about different things and you're giving her compliments and you're being nicer to her. You're almost like kind of rewarding her for her approval. And what happens? She goes, oh, he seemed cool, but he's just like all the other guys. Remember, most of the time when you're saying something that you think is nice or charming and original, it's something that a woman has likely heard about 47 times that week from other guys. It's not what she wants. Why does this happen though? A lot of times it's because guys, nice guys especially, uh, we do something that I call playing not to lose. Instead of playing to win, we play not to lose, which means once we sense that we have our approval, we get really, really scared of losing it. So we change our behavior, even if that behavior was what was attracting her in the first place. So what that tells her is that you're probably not used to a girl liking you because the first sign you get from her liking you, you go into nice guy mode and you make everything all different and weird. Now, before I tell you what to do, I want to tell you one more giant mistake I know that I personally made plenty of times, and that's something I call selling past the close. It's a term from sales where someone was ready to buy, but the salesman keeps trying to sell them and winds up talking them out of buying. This is why at a certain point on a date or when you're talking to a woman at a bar or a party, you have to kind of make a mental decision. Can I escalate tonight? Meaning, can I move it to that next level of intimacy? The next level can be something as simple as um, sitting and rubbing her hand as you talk, but it's something that solidifies the attraction and introduces some intimacy between you and her. Now, if things are going well, that could mean inviting her back to your place for a drink. If you're somewhere alone with her, it could mean leaning in and kissing her. Now, sometimes it just won't be practical. It won't be possible to escalate. And if it's not possible to escalate, then you're always better off leaving on a high note because what often happens is you're at a party, a woman is interested in you, you're getting the signals, and now for the next two hours, you keep talking to her and talking to her and talking and talking and trying to impress her and tell another joke. And at some point, there's a law of diminishing returns and that thermostat will actually start dropping, right? That attraction thermostat. So to avoid that, you leave on a high note. Okay, what about when you first notice the attraction and you are still talking to her, how do you increase and amplify that attraction? Well, there's something that women call sexual tension. You've probably heard of it. It's also known as chemistry or attraction. And when you tease a woman, when you make her laugh, when you play hard to get, you act unpredictable in the right way, you create this tension. This is what usually leads to a woman saying something like, you're cute or I like you or I wanna see you again. It's the tension that makes her feel it and makes her say it. This is exactly when you need to dial things up. Don't diffuse it all by saying you're cute too or I like you too or by smiling like a jackass who, who just won the lottery. This kind of thing releases the tension and it usually takes that wonderful electric attraction that she was feeling and instantly kills it. So when she likes you and you're getting the signs that she likes you, this is when you want to increase the tension. So if a woman says you're really cute and you look at her, you smirk and you say, yeah, I know, you're increasing the tension, right? Because you're doing the opposite of what she expects, which weirdly, we all know, draws women in, right? Women are drawn to this tension. You can also amplify the tension with a technique called push-pull. The idea behind it is that you're pulling her towards you and then you're pushing her away. So a verbal example would be saying something like, you're adorable, like my bratty little sister. Pulling her, pushing her. Or a physical example of push-pull would be, you're adorable, give me a hug. Hug her for a second and then go, okay, that's enough. And kind of playfully, right? This is all playful. Push her away. That makes sense? Pushing and pulling keeps that tension alive. That's just one of the ways to keep the attention alive. How else can you do it? So another example of this tension is when things start getting quiet. We've all been there, right? Now, the average guy is really uncomfortable with that tension, right? Anytime there's a lull in the conversation, an awkward silence, he feels an immediate need to say something to break that silence. But instead, lean into that tension be comfortable with things slowing down for a minute and use that moment to increase the tension by maybe looking at her and holding eye contact slightly longer than normal. Just kind of look at her and don't be in a rush to talk right away. I alluded to this earlier, but at some point you want to escalate because if you don't escalate, you wind up in the friend zone. Again, we 
been there, right? Where we don't make our move, we don't make our move, and then we're in the friend zone. This is why uh, a lot of guys mess up, and I was guilty of it, where I'd have this great conversation with a girl, I'd be getting all the interest signs, and then one of two things would happen. One, I would just not know how to move things forward, right? I just wouldn't know what logical step to take. Or the second thing that we do, and I know that I was guilty of, is, is have a hesitation, right? Where we start thinking, but if I make a move, she'll think, oh, he's like all the other guys just looking for sex. So instead, we try to parlay the interaction into another meetup, telling ourselves things like, well, I'll make a move next time. But really, escalation is attractive because, again, it increases that tension. So what do I mean by escalation? Escalation doesn't mean you have to lunge in for a kiss, right? One of the simplest things that you can do, um, and this is a move I love, is when she says something interesting or maybe she says something that you can kind of tell she's trying to impress you, she's putting in work, just look at her with a sort of like good job expression and just put your hand in the air like you're gonna give her a high five, like, oh, that's cool. And when she puts her hand out, just sort of grip it for a second, caress her hand for a second, and then let it go and go back to talking. Or instead, you can say, let's grab a drink, put your hand out and hold her hand and guide her through the party holding hands. Now you've added that intimacy, right? Anytime you're touching hands, that's intimate, that's attractive, and that increases the attention. Now this framework that I just gave you of creating and amplifying tension, this continues throughout the dating process, meaning just because she agreed to go on a date with you, you, you know, you hang out with her at a party, it went well, you built tension, maybe you escalate a little bit and now you go on a date with her and that goes well. You don't after three dates go, okay, I've built enough tension, I've amplified the attraction, I'm good, I can go into nice guy mode now. No, you continually want to be doing this, right? It doesn't mean you have to, every single thing you say has to be some kind of flirty thing or some kind of teasing, but you find other ways to amplify tension, right? Amplifying tension could be not texting her back right away every once in a while, right? In that moment, the tension increases. And you always want to be thinking with a woman who's into you, how do I make sure that I'm never letting, if you think of like a rope and it has a lot of tension, how do I never let that rope go slack for too long? It can go slack, but at some point you got to pull that tension back. So one of the things, uh, a question that I always ask guys is, do you know how to respond to the various tests and situations that commonly occur with girls? Um, I mentioned these tests at the beginning because there's a lot of make or break moments with women. And what I found is that a lot of guys are responding in the wrong way in these common situations. So what I did was put together a short seven question quiz. The quiz contains common situations that you run into and then asks you how you'd respond in each situation. It's multiple choice and you immediately get your results to know how you did, right? How you would have done. What's funny is a lot of guys assume that they're going to get every question right and then they get five out of seven questions wrong. Now the quiz is free. You get your results instantly and you can find the link right below this video. And more importantly, once you get your results, it analyzes it and it kind of gives you a custom plan for how to improve your weak points, right? Where you're likely messing up and then shows you how to avoid those mistakes in the future. We call them nice guy mistakes because like I've been saying throughout this video, unfortunately, when we like a girl, for some reason, a switch goes off in our brain where we go, okay, it's time to be a nice guy now because we think, well, I like this girl. She has girlfriend potential. That means I have to be a nice guy, which is counterintuitive in the sense that we know that being nice is not attractive. At least most of us at this point have kind of heard that. And we're very good when we don't like women or we're not that interested in being that sort of seductive, attractive guy. But when we actually do see girlfriend potential, it's like we do the one thing that we kind of know doesn't work. And a lot of times we don't realize it. And that's why this quiz is really valuable. If you haven't taken it yet, uh, the link is below. And as always, if you like this video, hit like, subscribe so you don't miss future videos. And also leave me a comment. Um, this was a topic that a couple guys had asked me in the comment section previously. And I, and I thought it was a good thing because I have seen so many guys blow attraction. But leave me other ideas of things that are going through your mind that you're like, man, I just never know what to do in this situation. And I'll see if I can cover it on my next video.